Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So ignore my hair, it is 5 a.m., but today's update was special to say the least. Yes, we got the avatar stuff, beautiful, wonderful, but they messed up pretty tremendously. So let's get into that part first before we get to the actual avatar update. So first things first, they actually added proximity chat to Fortnite Creative, or at least it's coming soon. Now, don't get too worried about this one. Apparently, it's going to be for specific map makers to make, well, certain types of map and stuff like that. Uh, kind of like, you know, this old game mode. So yeah, something like that, but still going to be pretty weird. Along with that, a good update. Epic Games is now adding the Rebel Leia Organa skin coming soon, and that should be pretty cool for Star Wars, probably on May the 4th. And let's get to the bad part of the video. So essentially, Epic is kind of playing the angel and devil on your shoulder type thing because a they added a quality update but they also added a very bad update so the first quality update is inside the item shop now or coming soon at least every single skin will now say when it will be leaving so an actual timer per actual skin and that will determine you know when the skin will be coming back and stuff like that so very very good update but the bad update is they have now removed all the rarities of every single skin inside the item shop inside your locker absolutely everything so now the crappy UI is just blue. Everything just looks blue, blends in together, and it's just confused. I hate the UI so much. It is just terrible. And now it's even worse because everything just blends in together. There's no diff color differences or nothing like that. And on top of that, you know, rarity determines the price. So what is going to determine the price now? A 2000, a 2000 skin would be legendary. But now what is that going to be? Blue? Like they're all just blue now? It just makes absolutely no sense. So I do not like this update. Definitely curious as far as what you guys think about it. With that being said, though, here is all the brand new emotes in today's update. All right, and of course, along with that, here's all the brand new skins. Of course, we also have gameplay of all the brand new mythics. So here's also that they're actually are pretty freaking cool. The new Apple Glider is surprisingly good, but people are still not happy with it. They wanted to actually see, well, this in the back of the video instead of, well, what we actually got. But still, I think it looks pretty good. This is kind of like a nitpicky type thing. I think it looks personally, honestly, pretty fine. Um, with that being said, the Midas Yacht is now gone. This was actually teased a couple days ago thanks to the Midas crew, most notably Brutus, who said that this ship is going to some sort of mysterious island, which now everyone's kind of saying that's probably going to be for, uh, what's it called, like a open world Fortnite. So that's not confirmed, but I do believe that's probably what it's going to be. Kind of makes the most sense in my personal opinion. I just randomly seen this photo, so I just want to share that really quickly. Uh, so great work to the Trift guy. Um, Rocket Racing Season 1 is now here, and it did actually add a lot of cool stuff, most notably a new starter pack and the new werewolf vehicle but obviously some bright and obviously it came with a trailer so here's also that
okay. We also have this in the background video, which is actually pretty interesting and it's actually pretty long. So I think this actually might be it for the video, but the Oracle's voice line said that you should know that the banana, aka Peely, seems to be the linchpin holding together all of reality. Do with that information what you may. So it looks like the Peely storyline was not, you know, for nothing, you know, a, a, a couple seasons ago, which is very, very reassuring. I'm very happy to see that Peely the, the whole Peely storyline was not in vain. So yeah, very cool, but here's the rest of it. This is written by Zeus himself. Hmm. Oh, Aphrodite has apparently grown sympathetic to your cause. Zeus, on the other hand, does not. But the good news is he's writing about destroying you. Usually he just does it. I don't want you to get too excited, but we might be getting into a good old-fashioned god feud. Mm? Other Olympians may have more of Zeus's writings. See if you can find them. This is from Poseidon. Yeah, Zeus is definitely mad. And yet you're still alive. <laughs> Interesting. You should find out why. Immediately. Oh, wait. Prophecy incoming. Bold Zeus calls out for vengeance. Aphrodite raises her shield. For his lost correspondence. Keep your sharp eyes keenly peeled. Oh, that one rhymed. I love it when they rhyme. You should be glad Peely got this and not its intended recipient. You should know that Banana seems to be a linchpin holding together all of reality. Do with that information what you may. Anyway, Zeus is recruiting allies just as you are, and he's targeting the Huntress next. You need to get Artemis' attention before Zeus's words do. She's old friends with Aphrodite, so she might be on board. Not often the hunter sides with the quarry. I'd take this as a win. Zeus is the hunter, you're the quarry. Just clarifying. With every victory, every immortal ally gained, you make a stronger case for humanity. You may just triumph yet.